in it all and welcome back to Factory Town Grand Station where do you ever do a build in a game like this and then see something as you're building it and go oh I like that and then change to that and then then see something else as you're doing it and and, ooh, ooh, and, and, and that's happened to me a lot with this build um, this has gone over many different iterations even between when you last saw it to now and bear in mind last saw you when you last saw it it was a big change as well but i have settled on an idea that i like and i want to stick to hopefully and i hope you understand it too so let me zoom out here and you will see this is our train station doesn't look very different to the last time except uh it does because I am actually putting north, up is north. I took the whole station and rotated it 90 degrees. So instead of the wood being down in the bottom left, it's now up in the top right. And we go along, and then we go along here, and then we go back to the beginning. And we go along, we go along there, and so on and so forth. Um, down here, I've taken the, I don't know if I did this last time or not, but I've taken the mechanical, the fluid pipes, which I noticed are, you are actually one off, you want to go in there. Um, and the elixirs, and I put them on separate things to balance stuff out. Um, because last episode, you remember that we were going to go down south, and this is where all our automation was going to, all our natural stuff was going to be, like mines and trees, stuff like You see, all the trees are here. But the foresters aren't here anymore. They've gone. Uh -huh. and, and the reason behind this is I put this rail in the center here, and I realized it's never going to be used. Uh, the only drop off that any of these require would be either fertilizer or pickaxes and I thought that whole rail's down there for no reason at all there's no there's no point to having it there so I was like eh, maybe I shouldn't I, I don't know I was I was unhappy with it but I was looking at it and going I had the crossings as well and I wasn't happy with those because stuff would go along and then go up the central rail and nothing would get used elsewhere and it was it was unbalanced everything was going to be on either one rail or or on another rail and, and I wasn't happy with it but I was looking at this here and and I was trying to figure out what was going on there when when there was the other way I thought well maybe I could start down here and build along or maybe I could do something and then I went if I rotate them and they all stay in line with what we had before along here this is all this is on the line going west to east or east to west whichever you know, whichever way they will change and then this sort of came to be and my brain went I like this what if I then went and said this train stop is one of our outposts and this train stop is another one of our outposts and we follow the sequence kind of like what I was doing before but instead of doing long and thin we do fat and wide and you'll see here I brought some more land up here can you see what I'm doing here? Hopefully you can. This is the first outpost where we make trees, which matches the train station in the top corner. Next to it is where we make planks, which matches this outpost here. And so on and so forth. And we'll go along here, and then we'll go along here. Um, and uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Um, I brought this land. We are we are bankrupt. I fact, I brought I think I brought half of it and was kind of bankrupt. So I jury rigged something to try and sell some more bread to get some things going. And I even at one point I don't know if it's still here or if I actually removed it. Uh, no, I think I've I think I've removed it. What did I have? I I had I had the the uh, oh yeah no I did remove it. I had the grain train come along here on like a, a rail just up in the air to go to here to make the uh, the flower and then the flower come along to the back it was just i had um i had a not train i had um conveyor belts just floating in midair um basically transferring stuff over to the bread one well the bread's full again so that's good and i was just selling bread as much as i could to get yellow coins so i could buy stuff because it's, we're now looking at 24k a go to purchase things so it's expensive uh, one thing i will point out is that i enabled um uh, I was having issues moving these stations. I was highlighting them all, moving them, and then trying to move back. It kept saying occupied. So I went into creative mode so that I could. I, I literally I, I copied a station and then moved stuff out of it into it as well. And I did put in some rails in creative mode, 
forgetting I was in it. I've come out of it now. We're not we're not in it, at least I don't think we are. Uh, editor, edit rules. Are we? Yeah, no, it's off. It's off. I just had to move full buildings there, so. So, I have cheated a couple of rails in, and uh, I didn't mean to. I, I laid loads of tracks and then went, oh, God, I'm still in crap mode. But yeah, um, so that was done. But let me explain what happened here. So, when a train, a drop off train, let me, in fact, let me just unpause the game and uh, let's go here. So, we've got the central line, if you imagine, this is the top. So, this is a copy of. What are you doing? I didn't. Hang on. Hang on a moment. What are you? What are you? And why are you up here? Train that has no tag? Explain yourself to me. Yeah, I'm confused as to why a plank train. Mind you, I, I have been mucking about with the signals um, here as well. Yeah, and uh, that's something else on this part as well. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it. Yes, I think I did in the last one. We, we added extra north, south, east, west stuff. So um, uh, I need to figure out what that train is. But anyway, what I mean is Imagine this and this row down here when it's not full of stuff it's just got there is exactly the same as what we had here. We had the uh, the wood, and then we had planks next to it, and then we had uh, iron next to that and, that, and then down below we had coal and stuff like that. So this is wood and planks, but it only goes to seven, it doesn't go to eight, it goes to seven, so it's balanced better. Um, and then, and then the over here, the second one would be coal. This would be coal. So what happens is the top one is the drop off. So the top one here is for planks, and will drop off wood. That's why I'm confused as to why there's one here full of planks. I don't know where that's supposed to be going. Unless it's the pickup one. I think it is, but it's on the wrong line. Did I mess something up? I might. I don't. I don't remember. I don't know. I think that might be on the wrong line. I might have put him on the wrong line. He's supposed to be down here. So yeah, you'll come up there and then park up and stop. Is that correct? Yeah, that's what should happen to you. Okay, yes, yeah. Yeah, I must have put him on the wrong line. Um, so we have the trains here and the trains here travel on the left. And that's important. The trains on the inside travel on the left. They go down this line and they connect to a central line here, which will, well, it's not a central line, it's an edge line here. The central line is that sort of one there. And uh, they will travel down here. They will hit this. They will turn left and they will go clockwise around the roundabout, which we have here. And uh, going clockwise around the roundabout, they meet all the things that need on the edges here that go up and down to where they need to go to. You are the wood train. You are stuck again. I think I've mucked about with the item filters and haven't unpaused the game since doing that, so I'll fix that. But yeah, all the they go past all the item filters, they come to here and they go, Well, I'm not southeast and I'm not east because this is uh, this this actually, uh, if I can open it up without breaking it because I've double clicked on some of these and broken them. So this requires east and requires southeast. So a train must be an e a southeast east train to go that way. And a train must be a southeast south train to go that way. So that's that's the way of doing it. And, th and this will go down. It won't have train stations here. It will go left and right as it goes. Um, and this is the same. We come along here. Um, that no longer needs to be there. That can go. Uh, that was me experimenting with stuff. And it's got the same here. It's got southwest south, southwest west. And then you come up here. Yada 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 yada. And obviously that train went up going up here. Dropping off its wood, going off and then going. I am a northwest north train. Let me double check this. I set the filter right. I think I did because it's running. Northwest north train. And because he's a northwest north train, he will go up here. And he'll come up. And the only track he can go along is this one. This is the only track that's here because this is as far as we need to go. We have one uh, pickup line there. We have another pickup line there. We have another pickup line here. And we will have another pickup line down here. So we'll have one, two, three, four pickup lines. For delivery lines, which are the central ones, when a train enters the uh, the station, it comes through here, it goes straight down, it goes through the filters it would do normally, it then hits this centerpiece here and has to turn left. 
it goes along here, up over here, round this edge here, um, to pick up fuel. Ah, these trains are travelling on the right. This is the difference here. And the reason I had to do that, uh, so technically it would come down on the right hand side and then turn that way. The reason I had to do that is because in order to get them go up the empty rail and then turn back onto the full ones, one had to be going on the right hand lane, one had to be going on the left hand lane. I couldn't do it with both because I couldn't figure out how I did that last time. I don't remember. I think last time I had the trains all go past, turn around and come back again. And that was working. Uh, but to make sure they don't cross. So that's okay. Hopefully I'm explaining this correct and people can see it. I'm probably missing stuff out because, as I said, I've gone over a lot of iterations on this. But yeah, the trains go down. We'll come along. We'll pass the fuel barns, turn around. They're not a west train. So they'll come around, go down here. They're not a south train. They'll come back and pass these fuel stations. They're not an east train. This should be a north train. This should be a north. North. Set it to north. Okay. And uh, if I pick it up and move it back to just say, oh, uh, no. Wow, that was weird. There you go. He'll turn around. He'll come along. He'll go up here now. Um, he's got wood on him, but that means that he's going to miss his mark because he should have gone to the wood one first. I think. No. No, should have picked up wood. So he's picked up wood. So he comes up here and comes to our first crossing. I've had to put these above ground. I think I explained this in the last episode. I've put them above because um, it f sorters go really weird if you try and make a train go through them that isn't sorted correctly. Um, so if I had this southwest one or the bottom one, when the train comes back along this line here, it would just get stuck and stop. So they're separate. So, and this is just tagged southeast. So this is the north line coming from here. This is the north line. And this is the southeast turning on the north line. This is the southwest turning on the north line. As we go further up, we gain the northeast turning and the northwest turning. So this train should be tagged north, northwest. Look. You can tell I haven't actually uh, tested this, so I'm doing it on camera and hopefully it's going to work. Yes, that goes that way. If a train doesn't have the right tags, it'll just turn around and go back. And hopefully that'll fix it. It's a fail safe just in case something goes wrong. But anyway, he's coming along here. Yada yada yada. Nice and happy. He's a wood one. Um, now this is sorted to planks. Do you have the planks tag? Is that correct? You do. You do have planks tag. Okay, so I must have put that train on the wrong line essentially yeah i think i must have done that he'll come along um and he'll cross the line and go down there i could make him go to the end and come all the way back so that no trains ever cross the track but i think this would be okay because even when he's crossing the track he won't be blocking anyone coming out of this station here so he'll come here he'll drop off his wood and he'll carry on yeah, yeah, yeah. and that should be holding till full holding till empty uh no these should not be holding till empty Actually, I want to disable that because if I have a train that requires multiple drops, we can't hold into empty because the trains might not pick up stuff because I don't want to hold the trains here on the pickups because otherwise they'll block the whole line off there. So, so hopefully that makes sense. So if we need to build a train, say the coal train, the coal train will be a north um, and here they, they can only turn right so they can only come down. But it'd be a north northeast train, so it will pass this filter because it is a north tag, and it will pass the northeast filter because it's that way, so it'll be sorted that way. And that's how I've done it, that's how I've sorted them all out. That's it. See, he's going down here, he's going to pick that up, then he's going to come down and go back and forward, and, and he'll cover every single track. He'll come all the way down here, then go along here to pick up some fuel, then come back again. That should work for everyone. Now, the trains that come onto the circle get four fuel stops. So that should be fine. So they're either going to pick up fuel on the way in or on the way out. Well, both, really. Um, this one is going to pick up fuel in the center for the north lines. For the west and east lines, it will pick up fuel every time. Uh, these are literally just filtered north, south, east, and west with nothing ever special on them. Um, and, and it just works. I need to add some more stations in here. I haven't got all the stations in place yet. Um, so... Yeah, that's a, a thing that I need to fix. Uh, and also, I think... Yep, 
Yes, yeah, that's right, because that, that would go up there to pick up, wouldn't it? So that's the correct way there. I just draw, draw the lines. All the stations are facing the correct direction. So I just draw a rail in again, and there it is. So, But that's the idea. And then every station has its own outpost in the same location. So if I go, well, I need to build a... Um, what do we need to upgrade the base? Where is the base? Did I move the base? Have I? No, the base is still there. We need enchanted books. So if I come here, and I press F, and I go enchanted books are here. So that is gonna be down there in a place we haven't built brought yet. Um, but that's where it's gonna be. It's gonna correspond directly to its location there on the world map. So you go here and go, right, well, I'll press F. I want gold. I know gold is right at the top of the first one. So I'll come up here right at the top, first one. That's it, there's gold. These areas here, in the center and this area down here are going to become the cities that's where they're going to go and the central line can have a train going back and forwards picking up stuff and dropping off things and we'll have like a city this side and the city that side and uh that's the idea um, there's a small gap in between all these here so i can fit uh things in it if i need to i can put more fuel on these lines because if trains are running out as they're going along come back i think it'll be okay because this one here is kind of the longest one and I think by the time he gets back, he's used just over half his fuel, or just under half his fuel. It doesn't seem to matter how many uh, carts it has on it. It just it's fine. It just just goes. So it, it, they only use fuel to speed up and slow down. It doesn't seem to make any difference to how many carts on there. It doesn't calculate the weight for the thing. So I don't know... I don't know whether that will change in the future. I don't know, but there is space here if I need to add more fuel stations. So I can have one here, one here, one here. You know, just copy these and they'll be on them lines and on the center lines. So you know, there's more fuel. But you see, by the time he gets here, he's actually on... Oh, there you go, he's used... He, so he, used, he was on 13, so he used seven fuel. And he's got back to, back to a fueling station. So I think we're good. I think we're good for everything. So that's the idea. So that means my next one I need to do is a stone mine, of which we still don't have unlocked yet. Um, I don't even know where my stone mine actually currently is. What's that one? I've got stuff there, that's iron. Um, where did I put the stone to? Are you stone? You are stone. Okay. So I need to move this up there. And uh, I've been kind of doing, in, instead of, um, uh, instead of like copying the whole thing and pasting it in place I've been kind of ignoring the tracks um, or I haven't been ignoring the tracks um, what I mean is I've been taking out this this stone wall there um, I've then been selecting the whole lot and moving it up to where it needs to go to so here somewhere um, and then figuring out what I need to do with it because unfortunately because I've changed it so that one type of rail is on the right hand side and the other type is on the left hand side because of balancing at the station i need to remember which way does which and when and where uh, so for instance this is actually the wrong way around because this is supposed to be a pickup this has no drop-offs doesn't require any drop-offs it might require mines in some point so i should select it all again i should move it i should rotate it and it should go back down uh, there and uh, that's it oh. uh, so then i can just remove these bum, 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 and then figure out what I want to do so uh, the trains come along on the left hand side and they kind of they cross the track to go this way if they're on the left they're going to be coming off here going along and uh, rejoining in the center and if they're on there and I'm running the tracks as long as I can one short of the central line so that I can add more carts if I need to in the future so that means we come off here so we come up there, we go along. I need to figure out where center is because I always mess that up. Um, yeah, I always mess up where center is. I can never quite eyeball it. I think that, that looks okay to me, but I don't know if it's correct or not. So just measure that, that is 11. And that is 11, that is center. Awesome, it can be taught, awesome. Put down the uh, stone, put the blocker, that 
and that I need to change that to be 800 because we're doing half there and then you scrap this and uh, that is third third on the top row so one two three click there you go okay and then let's just move that um, well I don't know exactly where I'm gonna move this this should really be in the center um, because we will um, it's a mine so we'll have four mines I suppose uh, can I build? I can, I can copy my kind of here. Unfortunately, I removed all the resources from underneath the ground without looking first. Mines are the same size as a as, uh, foresters. Um, yeah, I removed all the resources and then was like, oh, I should have left it in case there was some underground stone I could have grabbed. But I didn't. I messed that up. So, so yeah, so we'd, ha we'd have a mine, say, there. means that the packager will go there nope, one more there and then all the mines will go into the packager so it'll be exactly the same as this this layout here the four foresters or the four mines will go into the packager the packager will seal everything up and then the packager will deliver to where it needs to go to anyway. just right now we can't do anything because we don't actually have any uh, stone so yeah that's why we need enchanted books we can't do enchanted books because i now need to buy more land because the enchanted books will be down there somewhere but it does mean we've spent a lot of money on land up there that we're not going to use and are there trains up here i thought i got rid of all the tra i th thought i got rid of all the trains Ooh. okay i missed some fair enough fair enough that's fine that's fine. Um, also, you'll see this is butchered around because I'm trying to. Uh, I want to redesign this. I want to redesign the cloth conveyor belt one, but I wanted to make sure to get all the conveyor, all the items off the belts. Otherwise, I was just going to fill the base up. The base is filling up with stuff. You can see here. So I will at some point have to put this somewhere and go. Would you take out any packed items? Although that's been a problem. If I tell a grabber to grab packed items, it grabs everything. Which is weird. But um yeah, I'm not trying to say grab any boxed up item and then we'll just drop it in the, the system with one big train that just goes down every one and goes, hey yeah, I've got this, hey I've got this, I've got this. That'll work. Because we could quite easily make it go north and then just tag it with something special, you know, tag it with a anything really, you know. A, whatever. We could tag it with a crystal whatever doesn't matter yeah so you're picking up wood because this needs more wood well more importantly it doesn't need more wood so the train doesn't actually stop there so i don't know how to make the train stop there without telling it to hold until empty because i don't want to do that anymore i really want to have some way of doing it i mean i could do it for individual ones that would work fine but for multiple ones, I need to have some logic that says, hey, if any one of the things that this requires, let's grab one. Let's grab something that requires multiple drop there. Multiple drop-offs. Wow, English hard. Me no speak. Um, like this, clock of outs. Where will clock of outs go? Let's push F. Let's find out. Clock of outs go right on the end, up there. Awesome. That works really well for us. So, let me remove these from the outside of it because I have those in place. I don't want to uh, get in it. So I'm just going to do that and copy. Oh no, because that will copy stuff from the other side of the rail as well. Let me move that and that off. Um, I just want to cop uh, move it all so that I remember where the pushes are, so it gives me a reminder of what's what and when and where. Okay, let's move all this. See if it will fit. I've had a couple of times where it doesn't actually fit in the place I'm trying to put it into because I've got the rail, which I keep forgetting I actually have the rail lined up here. So 
And interesting, the rails are actually further apart. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're fine. Okay. So how about we do something like that? Just put it down for a minute. Okay. So the drop-off rail is the top one because that connects to the center rail. So that's the drop-off for goods that it needs because that is technically the center rail. If that makes any sense. So that's that is that is this rail here. So this this has the three items on it. So I don't want three items on it. I don't want three stations. I want one station. Let's put a single station down. And let me grab all of these so I remember what it needs. Which means we don't need that station, we don't need that station, and we don't need any of this. Or any of this right now. Goodbye. And we don't need as many. Well, we might need many packages. In fact, we're going to have three packages. So that's going to do it better. So you. Oh, which you have stuff inside. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes. Because wooden wheels were getting used way more than other stuff. So. That's okay. What I'll do is I'll set these to output, output, and output. So it doesn't get anything new in it. And uh, we'll unfilter them. We don't want anything like that in here. There we go. And then hopefully that will... It probably won't take... They'll probably take the top stuff out first, but whatever. Uh, is that 11 squares? It is. That means it's centred. Awesome. So... What I want to do then is... Have a look at where the train comes in. Remind myself that the train comes in on the right side. So it will come in on the right hand track. So it's going to come down here, choo choo choo, on the right hand track, get to the end one because it's the end one we're dealing with, which means here is where it comes off, one away from the center line. So no trains on the center line. Then it will come along and it will stop at the train station. And then it goes one after and then it goes around and does back on there. And that's just for consistency with the pickup. Um, it goes one after and then this has got three items in it that it needs so this needs a train with three goods on it so locomotive Look. but it doesn't need three um, three carriages it needs four and you'll see why in a moment uh, let me tag it Bump. but we're not going to have any item filter we don't want an item filter. So, um, let me remove those outside things. There. We have a barn full of goods here as well, which are unpacked. Uh, that's something I just need to add to this in a moment. But um, let me remove those as well. Okay. If I grab all this and go move, do connect that to that there, like so, and hopefully that is correct. Is that 11? It should be. It is. Awesome. Right. Uh, now, this train is going to come along on the left hand side, which means it's going to be on this, this bit. So it's going to come in here. I'm going to go down. Remove the round leaf there. Gonna go one after it's going to come down it's going to loop back around which means the blocker needs to go over here this needs to go over here that needs to go over there that should be 800 so it's all even and this is the last one on the first row so we just come down here right click on the last one there and then we know that one is top conveyor belts awesome okay so the difference that i wanted to do here um is I'll copy that paste that on top of those there, and then turn them around as I said I was moving stuff around trying to prevent it from uh, making things or well not prevent it from making things but actually I was trying to uh, encourage it to make things in one place so it used up more wooden wheels but what I want to do is I want to add a packager like here 
and I'm going to copy this packager and I want to put it here. I'm going to remove all of those and all of those for a moment. And what we want to do is we want to, um, well, actually what I want to do is I want to grab those, copy those. We want to go output, 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 output. There we go. And also we, uh, I just remembered I need to copy those again and put them there, like as so. So we need to have this feed into the packager. I'm not going to do it right now because I want to make sure I lay all the blocks properly. But also it needs to feed out this side to this packager. Or to the back of this packager I should say. Which is awkward because I only have two, but in fact I don't have two bars here because that technically is the edge. Like so. Um, So what I should be doing, really here, is having a barn in the centre. I don't quite know what's going on with that. There we go, right. So we should have a barn in the centre where all the packages goes to. And then from that barn, it transports out to the three different places it needs to go to. So, what I want to do is remove that and bring all this down. Move, and hopefully I can. No, it's going to say occupied. This is the thing that I was having issues with that creative mode fixed. Um, and then I discovered you just have to move it away and move it back. What it is, is that it, it's trying to move a building on top of a building. And it doesn't like that, even though you're moving one of those buildings that it's talking about. So... Yeah, I don't quite understand that. Um, and that also means I need to move all these in by one. But then I've only got two gap there. I need to figure out how to get... I suppose I need to do the line thing, don't I? I need to do what I did down here. Yeah, I need to do the line thing. Or else it's just simply not going to work. Okay, that's fine. Move and rotate. I'll put you there. Tag. Move and rotate and put you there. Let me remove all this and all this here. And uh, then we'll just move. Okay. And uh, we'll do... Something like this, close in, in, and out into there. Yeah. Okay. Which would allow me to then run a line straight down there, out there to there, and out there to there. And the same here. And just put down all the belts. So. You need to move forward one if you'd be so kind. See that that works. Moving a single building works. Moving multiple buildings confuses it. So does it doesn't like that. But it's fine. It's fine. So it's a small workaround, not a big problem. Oh, you're you're not in the correct place. Move you over by one. Dunk. There we go. You come out go down there, you come out go down there, you go straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down, out and over, out and over. There we go. And that should work. And then all we need is a barn. Here. Pause the game. Because I need to filter this barn. So we need to put stone brick, wooden wheels, and cloth. Now the recipe for this actually needs two wooden wheels compared to one stone brick and one cloth. So we need, we need to be delivering more 
wooden wheels than cloth. So what I could do, in this case, I could easily set this to be two wooden wheels and a cloth, but I think I'll leave it for consistency sake. Otherwise it's going to be confusing. Okay, so one, two, three. You go to there, you go to there, you go to there. And I'm doing it this way because the moving packaged goods is faster than moving unpackaged goods. So, yeah, mo moving them as their packaged goods is much faster. So hopefully that will empty the train station into the barn and the barn will go down to the three different packages. Um, that allows me to put in the walls around the outside so I'm not breaking any barriers there. Then the, the barn here that stores them goes to the packager and the packager feeds the train station which is very full because for reasons um, should only have two people but it had four. Oh yeah I think I was trying to get stuff for the belts that's why. So when it comes to the train we need to add four box carts and four because there's three ingredients there's one cloth there's two wood wheels there's one stone brick so that's one cart for one cloth two carts for two wood wheels and one cart for stone brick so we need to add four one two three four there you go and we need to filter them to be the correct order so we need to go stone Ooh, wooden wheels and the wooden wheels and cloth and because we have not filtered the train that means the train will ignore any filters it comes to uh, other than maybe the train guy might get uh, filtered with north because that's what we should do we should actually filter the train north northeast so it knows where it's going that's that's where i'm going to confuse myself sometimes but this train is a north northeast train there we go but because the train the train filter doesn't match any of the box cut ones we need to turn that off there we go uh, but when it passes a sorter it will actually read the contents of the box cars so it will go hey if the sorter matches stone bricks we're going down there and we can test this i need to grab this come back to the center line and i need to essentially put it on the center line Coming back into, uh, should be on the right hand lane. Uh, come back into here. But it needs fuel. That's the problem I'm having here. It needs fuel. So. Um, yeah, there's no fuel coming in here. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should have fuel coming in from the north. Hmm. I don't, know. I don't know. Right, uh, go. Go train, go. Oh, you're on the wrong line. Sorry, you should be on the right hand lane. There you go. So you're going to come down this one because you're going to go, hey, I need stone brick. Let's go and get some stone brick. Right, do you know what? Let me just fill this up with fuel quickly. Go. Yunk. There we go. Right. Pause again, then pick it up. And do it up here. I could put in a fuel station up there. I probably will put in a fuel stations, but it's going to come down here because it's got stone brick, and stone brick is this one here. I'm just going to go and check and check and check, and then get to this one here and go. Hey, I need to fill up one of these carts with stone brick, but it hasn't filled the other ones up because they're filtered. This really shows what I was getting. If you don't filter the carts, it will then stop at the first train station and just fill it up. It then carries on its journey. And we'll then come to the next one and go, hey, I need to go down, I think this one here, or is it going to be that one there? I'm going to go along here, get some fuel and come back in. And the reason to go along there as well is because we're going to have west trains. So, oh, I need to come down here. What for? Cloth. I need to get cloth. Where is cloth? Cloth is stored right here. Got 94 cloth. I'm going to check every single station. That's got stuff in. Hey, they got nightfall cloth. Grab the nightfall cloth. Thank you very much. And I'm gonna come down here. 
Got, I'm not self trained, so I've got to turn around and go back up again. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to check the west stuff, so let's go to the west draw the west side. And I could put the footer in here to say, hey, if it's west, push it that way. But I left it because I wanted to put up the train with a uh, fuel. So, yeah, that just made sense. Right here. Oh, right. Uh, so, what I need to do here is actually put the stations in, like so. There we go. Uh, and you can get wood wheels. Dump, there you go. And you've grabbed two lots of wood wheels. It works. It works. It works. Awesome. So, you go up here. You don't get pushed off here because you're not so southwest or southwest on the east line. That's the confusing part. North line, southeast. It comes here. Like I say, I can turn that way because I need to turn that way. And then he'll come along. And because he is tagged, oh, I need to. Uh, bump, but I want to unfilter that. That must be nothing. So it needs a sorter with the tag name in it. I forgot about that. Um, and he goes, hey, I, I need to do this here. But I need a way to have this so that if the station is full, we don't need to send the train to pick anything up. There's no point. When it was multiple trains per station, it was fine. But now he's going to drop off all his stones, he's going to drop off that, drop off that, and he's going to go because he's empty, that's fine. But next time he comes around, he's going to be full of other stuff. So... Only way I can see of this working is if I have logic here next to the station that checks the inventory of the station. And if cloth, wooden wheels, and stone brick are all above a certain level, we turn a blocker on. That I think is going to be the best way to do this. Because I don't really want the trains driving around in circles just over and over and over. We've got that log train that's just driving around in circles forever. And I could put the filter on that for empties that, and I could do that here and it would work. But, as I said, what if the train comes back? Like, it, it will do now, actually. Where, where is it? Where is it? Let's have a look. See, where are you? Uh, is that you? That's, that's you. Yeah. Um, so you're going to fill up on stone brick, aren't you? You've got stone brick? Yeah. So you're going to get a full carriage of stone brick. You're going to get a full carriage of cloth. Nope, you're going to get 44 cloth, so not 50, which means you're only going to drop off 44. So if I said hold until empty, when it empties the train, it could put more stone in than cloth. And because it's used evenly, it would use up all the cloth, leave a bit of stone left. And then the train will go, well, I'm still not empty. I've still got four stone in me. So I'm never going to move. But the workshops are expecting more cloth. So logic is going to be the only way to do this, I feel. Logic is going to be the only real way to do this. So let's have a go here. Um, compute blocks. We want an inventory center or three, don't we? One, two, three. I'm going to put all three in there. You, you, you. You are going to be checking for stone brick. You are going to be checking for wooden wheels. And you are going to be checking for cloth. Okay. We then need some math blocks. Because, I mean, we could leave it like that, and then if it runs out of wooden wheels, it will send the train. Which would be fine, could we have a buffer here? Or I could do it with logic block, so with math block saying like if it's under a certain level, off you go train. We'll do it with that, we'll do it with logic. So if it is less than, uh, let's say 100, because we are currently filtering it to 200. Okay, you connect to that, you connect to that, you connect to that. So if it's less than 100, it's gonna send a true signal. So now we want a ball function 
dunk, right there. And this ball function wants to be a nor gate. A nor gate. An or gate would mean if any of them are true, send a true signal. But I want to tell you, if any of them are true, send a full signal. If any of them report less than 100, we want to send a false signal, which means we then get a blocker get there, connect that to it. And when this has less than 100 inventory of any either one of these, this will go true. And because this has read, read a true signal, it will push a false signal, which turns the blocker off. When they all re when they all receive uh, false, should uh, do that. Oh, I need to actually link them all together like that. There we go. Bonk! It went because wood got lower than a hundred. A wooden wheels got lower than a hundred. Awesome. So it's sending false signals, and then when that fills up above there, these will be sending false signals. So it will send uh, a true because it's reversal. At least I think that's the way it works. I would have to keep an eye on that when the train comes back next time. But I have just glanced over and saw that I've been recording for 45 minutes. So I think we'll leave this one here and let me know what you think of what I've done here. Whether you like this or not, um, I, I, I do. I like this idea of having everything laid out there, which basically means that our, our place is gonna be um, one, two, three, four, four, eight, eight lanes, and seven on this side, seven on that side. So, yeah, yeah. Let me know, and we'll we'll take it from there. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope to see you again next time. And until then, as always, have fun. <laughs>